Do you ever feel lucky to be a human being? No. Why? Well, if you were a snake, all you'd have to worry about is rain filling up your hole and somebody eating you. Yeah. And if the ain't you, you're done. You know? Two, three years at best. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, but they don't get to do things that we get to do. No. But they don't know the difference. So and they maybe they... That's true. Thank you. Can't they get sick from eating one of those? I said to her, she's gonna get that porch on his nose. She said, no, that's a toad. That's not even true. Right. It's an old wine story. You well, can't get warts, otherwise I'd be covered in warts. That's all I played with as a kid, Mom. Um, and then you would make me, at the end of summer, release them, and it was horrible. No other people had to release their pets after a happy half a summer. <laughs> so Michelle, what are you doing? Child, what are you doing? I'm taking my toad for a walk. Get the string around him. Underneath his little paws. Yeah, I remember when I dropped him. Oh, he's bleeding. He's bleeding out of his mouth. Oh, jeez. It's horrible. <laughs> Two and a half combined was four and a half maybe. And that was in the laundry room. But before I went in there, I told you. I'm going to put that little bird egg on a, on a tissue. And um, don't touch it. The way we find it, was it just outside? No, you and Brian found it outside. And you brought it in and I said, no, don't break it because there's a little birdie in there. We're going to put it on the TV and we'll see if it hatches where it's warm. So I went into the laundry room and then I said, now, don't touch that egg. All right, all right. All of a sudden, there's all kinds of fighting breaking out. Brian came running in to the laundry room. She broke it. She broke it. Pretty soon you came in, your hands on your hips. And you said, there wasn't a birdie in there, just orange juice. <laughs> a good story.